I'm sorry you guys. I'm just allergic to stupid people and bullshit. What's up you guys? I'm back! And as you can tell, I'm gonna be talking about the latest booktube news, drama, situation happenings, goings on in booktubes, discussions, situations, videos, worlds words. So if you don't know, Miss Amanda made a video stating that she was leaving booktube because she didn't like the state of booktube. It wasn't doing what it needed to do for her and she was leaving. Bye Felicia. Now in the video she addressed a lot of aspects of booktube culture such as Amazon wishlist, idolization, and paid reviews or reviews of books sent by publishers and people not saying that they got the book from the publisher. Now when I first saw her video I was like oh, okay whatever. Kudos to her she's the first person to actually admit that she's coming from a place of bitterness and jealousy making one of these videos. And I wasn't gonna say anything about this. Her channel, her viewers that she watches even if I felt like she was belittling all of her subscribers and viewers but they're all agreeing with her so more power to them. I I feel like it's belittling to her viewers because she's complaining and it's making it seem like she's complaining about a small group of people but what she's really complaining about is the people that watch her videos or the people that don't watch her videos. In my opinion she's basically telling you guys that you're watching the wrong people and that you're too stupid to realize that she is better than them. But then what happened is it sparked all of these other people that I know and respect and love and enjoy the content to make videos about this topic that this girl created her video about that stemmed from a place of bitterness and jealousy and we're going on and on and on carrying on the bitterness and the jealousy and I just want everybody to shut the hell up. I'm just really frustrated that we keep having the same bullshit conversation about the same thing about people complaining that they're not having enough subscribers that the big booktubers which is like one percent of booktube are doing these things people are so focused on what those big booktubers are doing and complaining about that instead of reevaluating and looking in the mirror and saying what the hell can i do to better my channel so that i can get on their level just think complainers, it could be worse. You could be boring and black. Then nobody would watch your channel. Now you have everybody jumping on the bandwagon of if they did have an Amazon wish list in their um, description, they're taking them down even though they really wanted them up there in the first place. So why would you be taking them down just because somebody else said they felt uncomfortable? There is a button around here somewhere that says subscribe and unsubscribe. Bitch, press it because I am going to do whatever the hell it is that I want to do on my channel. I have gotten books from subscribers and I've told you guys, but when a person who has a larger subscriber count gets books from their subscribers, it's a problem. Why? Really, I'm not even really mad at her video. I'm just really frustrated with all the the attention it has garnered and she was talking about how in the video she was leaving she had privated all of her videos and now the shit is unprivated so you complained about the the attention that you weren't getting and now you're getting it so now you're back and to me i just think that's shady and it's shit stirring she was also complaining and saying that the community aspect of booktube wasn't there i don't know what community she's in but in my opinion booktube is a community but the community aspect is not a whole of booktube it is what you make it so there i have my own community in booktube because my community is the people around me the people that i interact with the people that i make videos for the i make videos for you guys that are watching because you're my subscribers and i make videos for me i watch my videos i genuinely laugh at the stupid shit that i say i, I started my channel because i love reading books and then i realized there was this whole booktube community but every time i watched a video the all the faces were white there were only two black people and i was like i'm funny I'm interesting. I know how to edit a video. Let me make a video. So that's what I did. I started the channel. And I do feel like that I do have a difference of opinion. I'm outside the norm. And if I ever stop feeling like that, guess what? I'm just gonna fucking go. Keisha keeps quoting the same stupid quote, be the change that you want to see. But it uh, fits so perfectly. If you want to see different shit in booktube, make different shit in booktube. So yeah, in all, I am making this video because I'm tired of seeing everybody being nice and saying that it's okay and singing fucking kumbaya. I'm tired of people fucking complaining like I'm doing right now about the same shit. 
I want you guys to comment down below. I want you to tell me I'm being mean. I want you to tell me I'm being a bitch. I want you to say something other than trying to be nice and trying to appease and trying to not hurt people's feelings. Because that's not what I want to see. And I know what kind of video I'm making. I know what kind of responses I'm probably going to get. I know all of this going into it. And I feel like some people don't know what they're getting into and you you just can't jump head first into things and not know what the fuck you're dealing with like come on uh, i didn't write anything down this is unscripted i should have because i'm probably when i'm editing this i'm gonna think of some more things to say that i forgot to say but yeah tell me what you guys think i really want you guys to stop making these videos i do but i just jumped on the bandwagon by making this one but whatever who cares Nobody. Okay. That's all that I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you better have some concerns because I'm not all the way there sometimes. Leave them down below in my belly and I will talk to you guys later.